Hi, in this video I am going to show you how to create an EC2 instance in AWS. In AWS you need to first log into your console. AWS provides you with a 12 month free tier console so that you can have hands-on experience in AWS cloud services. I have logged into my console. Now whenever you create an EC2 instance ensure that you have selected the right region. At the top right corner, I have selected the EU Ireland region. Your instance needs to be closest to your users or the application that is accessing the instance so that there is minimum latency. Once the region is selected, you can type in the service that you need or you can click on services and compute and go to EC2. It will take you to the EC2 dashboard. Click on launch instance. Step one is to choose an Amazon machine image. Uh, an AMI is nothing but a template that contains your operating system, application server and other applications. So you will be provided with a list of OSs that you can select. You can also click on the free tier only button here that will list only the free tier applicable AMIs. I'm going to select the first one, Amazon Linux. Step two is to select an instance type. Now Amazon provides a lot of different type of instances. For example, you have tier two, T2 micro instances, which are mostly general purpose and used for small web servers. There are other different type of instances like M4, C4, C3. So these are based on your compute optimized servers or memory optimized servers or density or storage optimized servers. So you can select the server here as per your requirement. I'm selecting general purpose T2 micro. Click on configure instance details. Here you need to input the details for your particular instance. Like the number of instances, I'm going to keep it as one. The purchasing option. Amazon provides a lot of uh, options like on demand instances, reserved instances or spot instances. I'm going to use the on demand option here. So I'm not selecting request spot instances. You can also go to Amazon documentation and learn more details about the spot instances. The next option is to select VPC. You can select the default VPC, which is created by Amazon, or you can select create new VPC. VPC is nothing but your virtual private cloud. So you can have an option to create your own virtual network with Amazon. You can select the default subnet, which is pro in the VPC. And each subnet is provided in a different zone. So you can select the subnet as per the availability zone, or you can create your own new subnet in the VPC. So I'm going to select the default. I'm not giving any preference. Auto assign public IP. So you have these options available here. So once your EC2 instance is created, if you select enable or use subnet setting, you will have a public IP automatically assigned to your instance when the, when the instance is created, or you can select disable. The difference in use subnet setting and enable is that if you select use subnet setting, it will go to your subnet settings. And if you have selected to provide an auto, auto assign public IP in your subnet settings, then it will enable it. If you have not set it up, then it will not enable it. So I'm going to use it as enable. Next is the IAM role. The important point here is that you have to always assign an IAM role to an instance when you are launching it. You cannot assign a role to an instance one it has once it has been already launched. So it is always a best practice to assign an IAM role to the instance when you're launching it. 
and if required you can make policy uh, changes to your role as and when required later so i'm going to select the s3 admin access role for my instance here next is shutdown behavior so what do you want the instance to do when you shut it down so i'm just going to select it as stop i'm not going to select it as terminate now you have further termination protection available here you can select it as on or off i'm going to keep it as default as off if you select this particular option uh, you will get additional protection against termination so if you accidentally click on terminate for your instance it will not get terminated it will ask you to first disable the protection and then you can terminate it amazon provides with cloudwatch for monitoring your services uh, you already have cloudwatch enabled for your instance in the free tier but if you want detailed monitoring you need to enable this and it will obviously uh, incur additional charges tenancy whether you want to run your instance on a shared hardware or a dedicated hardware normally we select shared hardware now advanced details you can mention your script or a bootstrap script here or you can uh, mention additional tasks or additional commands that you want to run when your instance first starts up so you can just start here with your shebang and then you can mention your commands here so this is how you can start writing your script here i'm not going to mention any script as of now i'm just keeping it as default let's go to the next section here we will add storage so there are multiple options provided you can have elastic block storage here and the options for your volume type are general purpose ssd provisioned iops or magnetic so gp2 is general purpose it will give you around 10000 iops provisioned iops are for high io throughput servers and magnetic volume type would be for low io throughput servers so i'm just going to select one volume type here with size 8 gb and i'm going to select this option which says delete on termination so once i terminate my instance the volume type will also be deleted I'm going to tag my server here as web server. I will create a security group. So you can select an existing security group or you can create a new security group. So if I create a new security group here, I will mention the ports that I need to be opened for, for accessing this particular instance. So I'm going to select SSH and you can mention the source from where you want to access this for now i'm going to keep it as anywhere if it's going to be your web server you can also add additional rules to have port 80 to be enabled so as of now i'm just keeping it as port 22 now i'm going to review the configuration that i just selected and launch the instance When you click on launch, you will be prompted to choose an existing key pair or create a new pair. So I don't have any key pair existing. So I'm going to create a new pair of keys so that I can access my server. Always download the key pair because this is the time when you will be opted to. Okay, I need to change the name here. So always download the key pair when you are creating a new instance and creating a new key pair because uh, you will be able to log in to your server only using these this key. So always download it before you launch the instance. So now it says that your instances are now launching. If you go to click 
on your launch log it will show you what exactly it is doing it will take just a couple of minutes for the instance to actually come up i'll click on this now i'm back to my ec2 dashboard it shows that the web server is being created this is the tag that i created the instance type is t2 micro the availability zone which which in which it is created state is still pending because it is not yet started once it is started it will show me a public ip and public dns and here are my new keys that i created this is the launch wizard one the security group that was created so now if you see my instance is already up it is running i can see the public dns the public ip is here now we will see how we can log into this newly created ec2 instance now i will copy the ip address for my server and go to my terminal here i will log in to the server as ec2 user at the rate ip and the key now we need to change the permissions for our key because they are too open that's what the error says so i'm going to change the permissions so now we have logged in to our new ec2 instance that we just created so you see creating an ec2 instance in aws takes very less time as opposed to the traditional ways of creating an instances in other methods so hope you like the video thank you for watching and feel free to comment and share your suggestions thank you